Especially if you are a beginner photographer or intermediate, you might feel overwhelmed by everything that you need to know that they tell you that you need to know regarding photography to take beautiful photos. And let me tell you that I feel you because I was there, I've been there. And before when I started out, YouTube was not as strong, was not as popular, and there were much fewer videos than there are now. But I decided to make this video because I want to give you a little bit of clarity on what you should focus on, on the most important part of photography. And it it doesn't matter the stage you are at, if you're a complete beginner, if you're an intermediate, if you want to improve your photography, you should focus on, on these three things to take your photos to the next level. Now, these three things will change order based on whether you're just using a phone to take your photos right now or if you're using a camera. So make sure to stick around until the end of the video and then you can decide which part you should focus on on the three. And the first one that I want to talk about is composition. And why I say this is because many times you guys tag me on Instagram on your photos because you want to have a feedback and the majority of the times I see photos with absolutely no composition at all and especially no subject. And this is one of the biggest beginner's mistake of taking photos with no subject. So just taking off nothing. Always ask yourself when you're snapping a photo, which is the subject? What is the subject on my photo? Where do you want to draw your attention to uh, in that snapshot? And to do this, there are a few rules that can help you that you might have heard before. And the first one is the rule of thirds. I've talked about this. I actually made a full video about this, so I'm not going to waste time right now. I'm just going to link the video down in the description and also somewhere here in the cart. So make sure to check that out after you see this video. And basically, this rule gives you a direction on where to put the subject, which is basically where the lines of the grid cross amongst each other. Then you have another rule that is called lead room or lead space, which I've mentioned already in this channel. And it basically states that if you have a subject that is moving, you should leave space in front of the subject rather than in the back. So if I'm doing the steps towards something, then leave the subject on kind of one side, leave more space in his front rather than in his back. But then there is also another rule that talks about negative space. And in this case, you want to use negative space to draw the attention towards a subject in a different part of the image that might not be in the middle. And you want to leave this negative space, this empty space, intentionally. Then we're going to talk about the second thing, which is editing. Another huge, huge, huge mistake that I see in almost every single photo that I get tagged on is that we as beginners tend to over edit our photos, especially if you're shooting with a low end phone. The problem is that if the picture is small, it doesn't contain much information. When you're going to edit, you're just going to destroy the whole picture. So my suggestion is try to focus on leaving the sliders of any type of editing software between 10 and minus 10, or maximum between 20 and minus 20. This will allow you to have more freedom between sliders, but without having to push them too far right or too far left. This is super important. While editing, try to focus on color, on composition, on details, and regarding details, do not use that clarity or texture function towards the right way too much because you're just going to destroy your photo even if you don't see it, but a professional or an intermediate can see it. And especially do not over edit your photos. Now to edit my photos, I always use Lightroom, whether it's on desktop or on mobile. This is my go-to software and you should do too because it's the standard for professional photographers. And the huge news is that my Lightroom crash course has now become free for everyone on Skillshare. This video is not sponsored by Skillshare, but I decided to stop selling individual courses and put them on Skillshare, where you can have free access for 14 days using the link down below in the description. Now, that is an affiliate link that gives me a kickback from it, but the concept is that you can have a look at all the courses on Skillshare completely for free for 14 days, including my own. And trust me, I build these courses with everything that you need to know to really master color grading, editing, and photography in general. Then we're gonna talk about the third thing that is super important, and this is about camera settings. If you're not shooting with your phone, but if you are with a camera, and if you are a beginner, the chances are that you're shooting on automatic mode. And whenever you're gonna start using the manual mode of your camera, you're gonna see a huge improvement in your photos. And trust me, it's not that difficult, because regarding photography, regarding settings, there are three things that you need to know only. These are aperture, shutter speed, and ISO. As a standard, try to always keep your ISO, which is artificial light, which is rumor, 
as low as possible. Then you want to adjust the shutter speed based on the subject that you need to shoot. If you need to shoot a subject that is in motion, you'll have to have a shutter speed that is higher. If you have a subject that is still, then you can go lower with your shutter speed and then you have the aperture. And honestly, 90%, maybe 90% of the times, I always keep my aperture as low as I can based on the camera and lens that I have. So most of the time I'm shooting in F1.8 or F2.8 so I can have a great depth in my photos, this kind of bouquet effect. Otherwise, if you have a different lens, just stay at the minimum and try to adjust that shutter speed based on the exposure, based on the photo that you're about to take. Now, I'm gonna do a full video regarding camera settings, but at the moment, I just wanted to give you this introduction to what you should focus on to improve your photos. And these are composition, editing, and camera settings. And if you're a beginner photographer or intermediate, you should definitely check out these 10 tips that I give you to start off in the best way possible in 2022. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Thank you very much for watching, and I'm gonna see you in the next video. Ciao.